we are going to look at the short senectin test. This is an ACTH stimulation test. What is short senectin test? This is a type of test that is used to diagnose primary adrenal insufficiency by administering artificial ACTH known as synactin and by measuring the adrenal gland activity after the administration. The basic concept for us to understand this short synectin test, we have to have an overview of the HPA axis, that's the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis. The hypothalamus is responsible for production of corticotropin releasing hormone, and this hormone is the one which will act on the anterior pituitary gland, stimulating it to produce ACTH. ACTH will therefore stimulate the adrenal glands to produce the cortisol hormone from the adrenal cortex. Then when there is excess cortisol levels in blood, they will produce a negative feedback mechanism to the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland, making them to reduce the production of the corticotropin releasing hormone from the hypothalamus and adrenal corticotropin hormone from the anterior pituitary gland. We have said this test is used to diagnose primary adrenal insufficiency. We have to understand what is adrenal insufficiency at first. This is a disorder whereby the adrenal glands are damaged and they are unable to produce enough cortisol hormone. So the causes of this low blood cortisol can be divided to two, either primary adrenal insufficiency which is commonly known as Addison's disease or secondary adrenal insufficiency. In primary adrenal insufficiency, the low blood cortisol is because of the damaged adrenal glands. And in secondary adrenal insufficiency, the low cortisol hormone is because of lack of adrenal stimulation by the ACTH. This probably because of a pituitary pathology. How is this test done? This short synactin test involves administering of the artificial ACTH that is known as synactin in the amount of 250 micrograms intramuscularly. Then this dose, when it is administered, you will have to measure the levels of cortisol at the baseline. That's the time of administration. Then after 30 minutes, then 60 minutes. So you have a range of one hour to carry out this test. In a normal person, the level of cortisol should double in response to synactin stimulation. So by 60 minutes, we expect the levels of cortisol to be double. If there is no doubling or the levels of cortisol remain low, we be suspecting a damaged adrenal gland. In interpreting the results of this short synactin test, we have said it is used to diagnose primary adrenal insufficiency, that is Addison's disease. In primary adrenal insufficiency, there are low cortisol hormone, 
therefore no negative feedback that is to the anterior pituitary and the hypothalamus hence the levels of SCTH will be still high and in secondary adrenal insufficiency there is a pathology in the anterior pituitary gland therefore there is no stimulation of adrenal gland and whenever there is no stimulation of adrenal gland there is low production of cortisol and in response to low cortisol levels and there is a pathology in the pituitary gland there will be low levels of ACTH because the pituitary gland is not producing enough ACTH to stimulate adrenal gland